hello and welcome back guys to the channel so on today's video i'm mainly going to be talking about price action um so i'll be generally explaining to you guys what price action is um what price action is all about and what are the key things for you to know in price action in order to be in order to be good profitable and consistent in trading through price action so without further ado guys don't forget to, to like um subscribe if you haven't turn that bell button on for notifications and let's dive into it so what's what's price action in general right um price action is simply a way for a trader to be able to analyze the market by using the information that is presented on the charts right so a lot of people take take this um in a wrong way now sometimes you you find traders um having a lot of indicators like three or four indicators on the charts um and a bunch of drawings and tools in there and they're like hey man i'm trading pure price action and you're wondering what's the pure what's the pure price action is this guy talking about now that generally um shows that they don't know what they're talking about they don't know what they're doing so in order for you to be able to to be a price action trader in a smart way in a consistent way and in a profitable way um what are the key things that you should know right so in price action there are generally two important areas for you to be able um to understand them and trade price action like a beast right and these two key areas are candlesticks and the chart patterns right candlesticks are basically these bars that are displayed here if you don't know what i'm talking about right so these are the candlesticks we have the bearish candlesticks and the bullish candlesticks and blah blah blahs where you just find that in whatever source of price action you're using to study it because i'm generally not teaching price action i'm just explaining and um making a simple an uh, analysis for you guys to be able to follow it and be consistent on price action now if you leave out the candlesticks patterns right well you have a lot of candlesticks patterns right you have the engulfing candles well um one candle um okay i'll just be explaining these very little right okay so for the engulfing candle you want um you want to have a large candle and a smaller candle before it right so this is the engulfing a large candle follows a small candle right and for the case of the inside bar you have a large candle and then a smaller candle following it right so this is called the inside bar where this candle here is called a harami so this whole thing is an inside bar but this little man here uh, okay let's remove that this little man here is called rami uh, a smaller candle following after a large candle um and uh i'm trying to i'm trying to i'm trying to recall the most important things for you guys to know right and you have the dojis the dojis which actually indicate um, a shift in 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 market momentum or price direction right mainly spotted at reversals a doji where you have this thing here like um okay so now i'm opening weird things okay so you want to have like that pin over over your candle and boom okay let's delete this and let's straighten this up okay let's just remove this and you can clearly see it's not working and boom so that's the that's the doji right so dojis create a whole um lot of candlestick patterns right like the pin bars the hammers um the hanging man's so you'll find that in whatever source as i say before that you're using and if you want to get deep into this shit you can always dm us on instagram at official green pips fx and we'll be happy to serve you now shifting now to the uh char chart patterns right we have a lot of chart patterns based on price action and this is the mo most important part um of price action now i'm gonna be uh explaining like two three or four most important chart patterns that you guys should know in order to be um absolute monsters in price action now the first one is the head and shoulders right where the on the head and shoulders um you want to have a move like this a continuation a slight pullback and then a continuation okay i took that wrong a continuation a slight pullback continuation again a pullback now and then a slight continuation and then boom right so this right here forms this little thing that we call the head right so now you have the head and the shoulders 
So that's simply what head and shoulders is all about. And this is a very good cell setup where if you take your cell here, meaning that, okay, let's just use the bearish thingy, boom, your entry there, your stop loss just a little above and you're targeting the lows, right? While the opposite of this is called an inverted head and shoulders, where this one now is for the bullish play, where you wanna see a continuation down, a slight pullback, a continuation lower, a deep pullback, a slight continuation lower, and boom. Right, so this right here forms the thingy that we call an inverted head and shoulder. Now, this is a very good bullish pattern for you to be able to buy the market, right? So let's say you have your bullish order there, your stop loss just a little above, and you're looking to target, um, you're looking to target what? The highs. So this is for the sell setup, and this is for the buy setup. Now, once you get deep into this, with a lot of practice it becomes way much simpler than it sounds right now um so let's just remove these and boom okay so now let's continue with another okay let's just delete this delete okay so now let's continue with another important thing which is the double tops and the double bottoms also known as the m and chart patterns m and w chart patterns now for the m um it's simply like this right so you want to have a structural move upwards um that slight pullback and move there and then move lower right so this is this is what the m pattern looks like and that's why it's called the double tops right because you have this first top and you have the second top now notice something these tops um do not always be at the same place i mean they don't always have to be at the same level sometimes it could be something just like this right boom 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 this is still an m right or oh, boom 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 this is still an m right so there are there are different types of m's and you will know that from your source now this is also a very good cell um cell setup where if you just have your entry there your stop loss above the lows and you're looking to target the highs now for the opposite of this we call it the w where you have like boom 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 right this is the w or the double tops right because you have the first top uh the double bottoms where you have the first bottom and the second bottom and you're looking to buy there your stop loss below the lows and you're looking to target the highs so the and as, as i said before there are different types of w's right it could be something like this um they could be level or one could be lower than the other or upper than the other it depends on the current situation but based on your source you should be able to know all this um, that i'm talking about and the last thing that i'm going to be talking about is breaks and retests right so let's delete this now for the breaks and retests if you have um okay my mouse is a little bit shaky so if you have like structure being put into place like this right structure is is basically breaking structural points right so this has been broken so that's the first thing right because there's a break and a retest right so now we have a break what we're waiting for is for the retest now in order for you to know the retest you should be able to know um some things you know like um like the candlestick patterns you know for example right if let's use the pathway now um okay 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 so Okay, so if you have something like this, right, structure is now breaking to the upside. You have that test. Now you have a break and what a test. Now the tests normally happen at where? Um, okay, so just let's go like that. And boom, lo and behold, the tests normally start from the last structural point. I mean, this high and this low right you will see this over and over again with a lot of back testing right so not gonna dive deep into that um let's say this uh you have your bullish entry there your stop loss just a little bit below the low and you're looking to target what the highs you're looking to target that high and even hold it to where higher position based on previous um or historic chart data so boom you're looking to have an entry like this right and as you can see this is the perfect way to trade these breaks and retest right so all you want to see is the first is the two crucial things a break 
And after a break, you want to look for that pullback and know where the retest is going to happen. Now, knowing that you can use either of the two things, you can use the supply and demand content or you can use the Fibonacci, the Fibonacci tool to know if to know where exactly um, are the potential areas that this pullback is going to go. And that is where you take your entries and go with price to even um, further highs or further lows. Now, for this video, this should be enough for you as um, a price action trader to be able to analyze and trade the Forex markets um, in a consistent and profitable manner. So without further ado, guys, don't forget to like, um, subscribe if you haven't, turn that bell button on for notifications. And if you want to get deep into this shit, you can join um, our premium groups by kindly DM, DM us um, on Instagram at official green pips FX, and we'll be more than happy to receive you. So without further ado, guys, until the next one.